we begin yet another amazing week. Why not become a collector of these amazing and mind-blowing add-ons? Add them to your collection. You never know when you will need them. So, what are they? Well, let's jump right into it. Procedural Shatter. If you are looking for a quick way to fracture objects, take a look at this procedural shatter tool. While cell fracture can do the same thing, what it lacks is proceduralism. With cell fracture, you can't edit the object you have fractured to make new fractures. And that's the beauty of this free shatter add-on, the fact that you can even shatter the objects while you are editing them. It's simply perfect, and I'm surprised it's free. One thing to note about this add-on is that it will give you an error if you use it on an object without a geometry nodes modifier. So before you shatter anything, make sure you add a geometry nodes modifier. It's a small issue, but it's a free add-on, so we can't complain too much. Hopefully this will be fixed by the developer in an update. Despite this minor hiccup, the add-on itself is wonderful. L-Systems. If you want to make procedural structures, the L-System is key to building them. This free add-on uses the L-System to create procedural trees and wall-climbing plants, creating beautiful patterns that will make your scenes look totally amazing. If you want more control and more options, you can also check out the premium version, which is just $4. Geometry Nodes is a gift that keeps on giving. Take a look at this free industrial structure generator made by OG. This generator turns any mesh into industrial structures made of metal supports, ladders, pipes, wires, steps, and platforms. It's exactly what you need to create detailed scenes when making industrial environments like factories, laboratories, military bases, and more. Generators like this are amazing because they let you focus entirely on creativity without getting bogged down by the technical details. You don't have to worry about texturing, materials, or UV unwrapping. The generator takes care of all that, including uh, how the pipes are connected and if the textures are working correctly. It's simply amazing to have all those technical bits handled for you. Speaking of military bases and laboratories, these bases are usually hidden from the public in isolated places surrounded by rocks or on a cliff. And guess what? I have just the tool for that. This is a free rock cliff maker that can generate cliffs with materials, textures, and some vegetation cover. If you find the generator too slow, it's likely because the metaballs it's using have a high resolution. You can go into the metaball settings and adjust the viewport resolution to something like 0.1 or more. This should help you work without any lag. Also, there's not much difference in quality, so you can even change the render resolution to 0.1 to speed up rendering as well. Now, your villain can hide comfortably on a cliff. And if your scene is set in winter, I went through hundreds of add-ons to look for something you could use, and this free freezing effect generator would do a great job. You can use it to add snow over objects or simply make objects look frozen with icicles hanging down. Everything is procedural and can be easily animated with keyframes. Unfortunately, this generator isn't well optimized and Blender may crash if you use it on a densely subdivided mesh. To avoid this, make sure to test it on a simple mesh first before going all in. And if you do apply it to a subdivided mesh, it might be a good idea to walk away from your computer quickly, just in case it blows up. Better safe than sorry when dealing with complex meshes and powerful generators. If you're creating a secret sci-fi lab scene, having a living organism is a great way to ramp up the eerie, unsettling atmosphere. And I've got just the right add-on for that. This add-on allows you to generate complex, organic-looking structures that could easily represent some dangerous experiment or alien life form lurking in the lab. It's perfect for adding that extra layer of suspense and horror to your scene. I think something out of this differential growth generator could be exactly what you need. You can make it look more organic by using different materials. Uh, for the animation, the add-on itself can handle that. I think if you put this in a glass tube which breaks while the organism is growing, that would be scary and interesting to watch. Uh, the lab could use some detailing as well. And this free K-Pack for Kit Ops comes with a number of kit bash models that you can add to your lab using the free kit ops add-on from wires, buttons, panels, and more. 
Procedural Crystal. An underground or secret lab can have more than a few things being worked on. You can show different things being made like these crystal rocks created using this free Procedural Crystals add-on. They are really detailed and can actually be the center of attention. Maybe the villain of your story is creating illegal mind control crystals in their lab. And to show how they can control minds, you can have a scene where a scientist is controlling a flock of birds using the crystal. If you want to go that route, here is a free flock simulator that has everything you need. The flock can avoid obstacles, follow objects, and most importantly, behave like a flock. Let me know in the comments which scene you will create with these add-ons. It doesn't have to be a whole animated scene, it can just be an image render. Obviously, something goes wrong in the lab, and whatever they have created, whether the mind-controlled birds or the differential growth organism, escapes and starts attacking. In the chaos, a lot of people are running. Some will fall, and this free Ragdoll Dynamics add-on will be perfect for that. The add-on uses rigid body physics to create realistic Ragdoll behavior. You can throw in some spiders and spider webs. I couldn't find a spider generator, but here is a free spider web generator you can use. I guess you'll have to model the spider yourself or download it from Sketchfab. Hide Steps. Creating scenes like these can be complicated. This Hide Steps add-on will give you the option to hide and unhide objects at will. This is already functionality we have in Blender, but what this add-on adds to it is the use of hide steps. Instead of just the function of hiding and unhiding everything, you can hide different objects and reveal them one by one instead of all at once. You can also throw in some fantasy windows in your cave to make it look, look like this was an old medieval building turned into a lab to make things look more interesting. So that's it. 13 free add-ons that can be used to make interesting renders. Let me know what story you will tell using these add-ons.